this is a descriptive statistics question or the problem solving question the concepts tested are mean median and range right on the one hand while this question helps us understand the basics about mean median and range i think the crux of what we should take from this question are these two things in questions such as this where they are asking you to identify how many of these statements are true do one thing very very meticulously jot down all points about what is said about these numbers right for example in this question they said the numbers are essentially distinct which means that no two numbers can be same the numbers are basically prime numbers which means that they are going to be positive integers so these kinds of little things noted down when it comes to both descriptive statistics and i would reiterate even for data session seek questions of number properties writing these things down will make a big difference to whether you find out whether the answer is true or it is not true the second thing what it highlights is if you find a counter example for example this data holding good if you find that sometimes the median could be an even number sometimes it cannot be an even number then we can quickly process and say that the statement is false but what if whatever values you are trying to check out seems to give you the same answer then you need to find out a framework where you evaluate all possibilities i've evaluated these are all the scenarios these are all the values that x can take these are all the values that y can take for all of these values it ends up being not an even number or an even number and it cannot be any other way that takes time these kinds of questions are time consuming especially if they turn out to be true right let's have a look at the question consider a set s it's got six elements 2 4 6 8 and x y information about x and y are both are prime lie between 0 and 40 and these are distinct elements what we need to figure out is the three statements that are given which of these statements is or are true first step we're going to jot down key data and step 2 we are actually going to check out which among these statements is or are true key data i presented the key data in each of the slides at this point so we can always fall back and refer to that but in this slide i am just capturing it so that we have clarity in our mind as to what we are talking about first point the element the set has six elements which we have already seen the elements are distinct which means x and y will have to take values which are different and should be different from 2 4 6 and 8 what else do we know both x and y are prime 2 is a prime number which is already a part of this set which means that x and y should be taking prime number values other than 2 any prime number other than 2 is going to be an odd number which means that both x and y are going to be odd we'll just capture this some of these might be of use to us and we know that both x and y take values between 0 and 40 neither inclusive so it's going to be taking prime number values starting from 3 and it can go to a prime number which is less than 40 right these are the key data step 2 we'll look at each statement individually we'll look at statement 1 to start with and see whether it is true statement 1 is essentially this maximum possible range this is a key word the maximum possible range for this set is greater than 33 is what they are saying we'll use the data that's given and see what is possible we know that if we can identify values for x and y then we'll be able to find out the range because x and y is going to determine what the maximum possible range could be x and y are both prime numbers known to us both are greater than 2 but less than 40 that's also known to us therefore what is the range range is range for any set of numbers is going to be the highest number minus the lowest number x and y are not going to be lesser than 2 which means the smallest number in the set is going to be equal to 2 so we have found l the lowest number in the set if you can find out how high the highest number in the set can be we can find out the maximum possible range we know that both x and y are prime less than 40 the largest prime number less than 40 is 37 so either x or y can take that value theoretically so the maximum possible value for the highest value is a 37 we have assigned we have already figured out that the lowest value could be 2 so what is going to be the maximum possible range the maximum possible range is 33 is it greater than is 35 i'm sorry is it greater than 33 yes it's greater than 33 so statement 1 is true so one part we have covered we need to go about it in the same fashion for the remaining two statements and figure out whether they are true or not Let's look at statement two. It says the median can never be an even number. We have six numbers in this set. The median is obviously going to be writing these numbers in an ascending order and picking out the middle two numbers because there are even number of numbers in this set. The middle two numbers are the third and fourth number. So the median for this set is going to be 
the simple average of the third and fourth number when these numbers are written in, in ascending order. Quickly captured for our benefit what x and y are going to be. x and y are distinct prime numbers. They are greater than 2 but they are less than 40. So, we will keep this perspective. What I am going to do is I am going to start we are trying to find out whether the median can be an even number. So, I am going to plug in values for x and y and then check out x and y satisfying this condition that they are both prime, they are distinct, greater than 2, less than 40 and check out whether the medians that we get are even or not. I am going to start with the smallest possible value, x is equal to 3, y is equal to 4. These are the two smallest prime numbers other than 2 but 2 is already a part of s. So, the set is essentially going to be this 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. What is the median? Median is the sum of the third and fourth number by 2 which is equal to 4.5. This is definitely not even. I am going to maintain x at 3, I'm going to push y to a number which is 7. Let us start with the 7. So, values are going to be 2, 3, 4, 6, 7 and 8 is the ascending order. If y takes any value greater than 7, it can be 11, the middle number, the third and the fourth numbers are always going to be a 4 and 6. Therefore, the median is always going to be a 5 for x being 3 and y taking any value which is not just 7 which is greater than or equal to 7. For all of these the median is going to be 5. Is the median even? No, it is not even. Now I am going to push x a bit to the right. x is equal to 5. If I have to take y, what all values can y take? y can take 7 or anything more than 7. Let us check out how it pans out. 2, 4, the ascending order is x is equal to 5, 6, y takes 7, 11, anything. The middle two numbers are going to be always 5 and 6 in this case. The median is a 5.5. It is not even. Now let us push x further to the right. x is equal to a 7. Then y has to be a value which is greater than that obviously. So, y is greater than or equal to 11. Let us check out what happens. The ascending order is 2, 4, 6, x is a 7, 8, y could be 11, 13, anything. The middle two numbers are obviously going to be 6 and 7. The median is 6.5 which is not even. The last one, going to push x further to the right. x is going to take a value which is 11 or more. y is going to take a value which is 13 or more. The ascending order is 2, 4, 6, 8. x could be 11 or more. y could be 13 or more. The middle two numbers are going to be 6 and 8. The median in this case is going to be 7. Is it even? Not even. So, we evaluated all possible cases given to holding this condition true. We found out in all of these cases that the median is either an odd number or it is not even an integer. So, the median can never be an even number is also true. Statement 2 is also true. Let us evaluate the last statement, statement 3. It says, if y is equal to 37, the average of the set will be greater than the median. Right. So, what does the set become? The set becomes 2, 4, 6, 8, 37 and we have an x. Where x is a prime number greater than 2 and less than 40. This is the data that we have. Let us quickly compute the averages for different values that x can take and also find out the median for each of those. We are going to start with x being a 3, that is the smallest value. I am computing the average and as I am doing that, I am also writing these numbers in ascending order. So, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 37 will be the values. The average is equal to 10. What is the median? The middle two numbers are 4 and 6. So, 4 plus 6 by 2, 5 is the median. Average 10, median 5. The average is greater than the median. So, this is true when x is equal to 3. Now, x can take any value which is greater than 2 but less than 37 because y is a 37. So, let us move on to the next value possible for x which is a 5. So, the ascending order of the numbers 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, 37. The average I have computed it is 10.33. What is the median? The median is 5 plus 6 by 2 which is equal to 5.5. The average is definitely greater than the median. Let us move on to x being 7. This is the ascending order of the numbers. Average is 10.66. Median is the middle two numbers by 2 which is 6 plus 7 by 2, 6.5. So, the average is greater than the median. Now, x takes 11. This is going to be the ascending order of the numbers. 2, 4, 6, 8, 11, 37. The average is 11.33. The median is 6 plus 8 by 2 which is equal to a 7. The average is greater than the median. This is when it is equal to 11. Now, think of any value for x which is greater than 11. As the value of x goes beyond 11, this average is definitely going to be greater than 11.33 because it is going to add to the sum. But the median is not going to budge because the middle two numbers are still going to be 6 and 8. The median will continue to remain at 7. So, for any value of x which is 11 or greater than 11, 
the median is 7 which means for all of those values the average is going to be greater than the median. This is one way to figure out. I will also quickly run you through if you could have figured it out a little differently you could have saved yourself all of these steps. Let us just look at this. See the numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8, there is a 37 and we have an x which is given here. Let us quickly compute the average for these 5 numbers to start. Some of these 5 numbers which is 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 35. This is 2 plus 4, 6, 12, 20, 57 plus x divided by 6 is going to be our average. This is nothing but 9.5 plus x by 6. So your average is always going to be a number which is average is always going to be greater than 9.5 irrespective of what value x takes. Now let us keep these numbers in order 2, 4, 6, 8, 37. Let us plug in x. Let us take a very high value for x because that could possibly increase the value of the median. Let us put x as a value which is somewhere between 8 and 37. What could be your median? The maximum median whatever value x takes is only going to be and 6 plus 8 divided by 2 which is equal to 7. So median how high can it be? It can only be a 7. Average how low is it going to be? It is going to be at least a 9.5 which means the average is always going to be greater than the median. So instead of actually going through those individual steps of figuring it out, we could have done it directly this way. Let us go back to this sheet. So statement 3 is also true. Statement 3 is true. We found 1 to be true, 2 to be true and 3 also to be true. Choice E is the correct answer. Looking for GMAT preparation help. Here are details where you can reach us. This is the place where we have put together all hard math GMAT questions. GMAT classes at Chennai. Visit this URL. GMAT classes at Bangalore. Visit this URL. Have any feedback about these videos or you would like some topics to be covered. Send an email to us at info at 4gmat.com.